Hello super healthy people, welcome to my channel. Today I want to make uh, like quite a big uh, review about uh, food in general. The famous Chinese proverb what said everything can be poison and remedy for you at the same time. It's only a question how much you use of it. So if you have not enough water, let's say, example what I provided before, you will be dehydrated and maybe you will die. But if you build too much water, you will die from it. So basically any kind of, um, let's say, food, let's say if you have not enough protein, uh, your muscle maybe will have not enough of it and you will not uh, get certain neurotransmitters and hormones. And if you have too much, protein you might get protein poisoning so basically it the best death penalty was uh, created in china i think about 50 years ago and they uh, feed the prisoner with certain uh, kind of meat i don't remember it's a lamb or beef during one month and with this uh, short quite short period of time person get uh, protein poisoning and you just go to sleep and uh, not wake up anymore. So basically the best uh, death penalty ever, I'd say, compared to gas camera or electric chair or whatever. So yeah, big uh, food review. Why food review? Because uh, on my opinion, the most of problem what we have, it appear from food. And I try to uh, discuss a different uh, kind of aspect of it. Basically, I make a quite big research and I talk to many specialists and nutritioners and different crazy people who stay on the treats and uh, do the fasting and whatever, I change the diet. I change my diet so many times and I still, I'm not pretty sure I'm on the best diet for me, but I feel great, uh, have high level of energy, feel healthy, look more or less fit and so on. I gain in weight, play with the fast carbs, low carbs, try keto diet, fasting, fruitarians, vegans, vegetarians, like during one to three months, raw foodist and whatever, I see how it works. Because you know, we can discuss a lot of stuff, but uh, when you try it on yourself, you will never know. So. Same like a lot of fat people, they know about diet, everything, but they didn't try it. Um, so, food. So, my opinion, and not only my, probably a lot of doctors I talked before, and uh, it's all information what I collect with the years, not only my experience, and many specialists and my friends as well. And if you will try to make a little bit of research, you'll find a lot of books, you'll find a lot of videos, lectures uh, on a similar topic, I would say. So, what's the conclusion? The conclusion is pretty bad. So, basically, we kill ourselves by our own will. Killing, literally, we destroy our health because of eating certain stuff and not only certain food, uh, amount of this food as well. So basically we make ourselves fat, we make a cause why we don't have energy and we feel bad, why we uh, not feel fresh, not feel like we was five or nine years old, you have full of energy running around all day and so on. And uh, everyone, to who we're supposed to say thank you, it's to ourselves. So basically all of the benefits we got, we done it. So basically all of the health problems we have, again, it's we are, and uh, all other unwished cause, I would say, we got it by ourselves. No one put a gun to your head and say, okay, do it. But basically, yeah, now government do. They make a different kind of restriction. Okay, we'll put you washing and so on and make tests you should do. We'll put a penalty on you and make a lot of restriction. Yeah, but still about the food. Uh, yeah, food is shit, mostly. Before I saw it, it's an... Um, 80% of food is not suitable because we have different cereals and greens and fruit and vegetables. But now I guess it's maybe 99% of food you can see on the market and everywhere not suitable for it. And probably better not eat anything than eat a shit food what everywhere around. A lot of uh, not only 
hormones like in the meat, pesticide, herbicide, what they use, everything is there, all of that bloody chemicals and uh, so many preservatives, all of this EEE and when you try to read it, some of the ingredients what you read like, what? Like kids kidney in the food and so on and just try to make a research. Take your favorite, what do you, chocolate bar, biscuits, and try to make a research of each preservative what there, and how much sugar do we eat. So basically, uh, all of the soda what we drink and biscuits, like we eat sugar by spoons, literally. And after we surprise how we gain a couple of kilos just uh, during the weekend and so on. And if it's not sugar, it's a sweetness like aspartame, but probably even worse than sugar and so on. It's only really small uh, aspect of food. And health centers, they, like, they cannot say, okay, probably for your type, your blood type A or B, AB, whatever, you need to eat less meat. For example, uh, many of my videos uh, was deleted. I make really cool review about a famous Moby who's like a vegan and uh, make a sponsorship for the vegans festival and so on. But basically, because it might be done against the meat or milk production, not allowed to make that videos and someone even might suit me for certain kind of information. So basically the doctors and health centers, they cannot tell you straight, okay, probably you need to eat less meat, maybe. Yeah, they can say it in many different ways. Okay, uh, you maybe need a little bit more vitamins or beta carotenes or fat amino acids and whatever, whatever. They will not say like, okay, eat a little bit more cereals or raw vegetables or whatever. And uh, of course, for some people, maybe meat is really unnecessary. For some, maybe need to reduce amount of it. For some people who have not enough protein, maybe need increase amount of it compared to the fast carbs what they eating. And what food most do we eat? Chips and fish, pizza, and everything. Yeah. By the way, if you've been in Italy, Italians don't eat that much pizza. Maybe a little bit more pasta, rice, and rice have they cooked uh, like risotto. They make a little bit unfinished cooked. Yeah. And if it's natural rice, not a white one, without all of the peel, it's not that bad. And if you eat pasta like from a complex carbs, it's quite good as well. So one of the cooking video what I done. So basically, if you eat that food, it will be all right. Uh, what else? It's not only like food style we eat and many, many uh, sweeteners, um, aroma stuff and different kind of uh, gluten what make it taste stronger and everything so food became really unnaturally tasted good yes yeah, so we overeat it and we get addict to it we can get addict for anything to the cigarettes we can addict to the alcohol we can addict like literally to anything i'm really glad uh, from my childhood i was quite active and i get addiction to the sport and activity and i feel just great from it and i will be glad if i can share this kind of addiction with you because many people they never in their lives they feel this self great like you wake up and you feel just great you're full of energy and uh, like you want to do a lot of stuff and so on like many guys said oh like from where you take so much energy yeah and when i start to practice meditation like years ago i realized before my energy level wasn't that good and i realized like after months is um you want to create more you want to make videos you want to write a scripts try to play music want to learn new stuff okay i want to learn uh, how to play on a uh, snowboard and a ski and i want to try to scuba dive and i want to try so many things just i want i want to do it i want to get this experience i want this activity yeah i want to go and play uh, football with my friends and so on and you have so much energy you really uh, enjoy this reality you if you came to this world you need to get that experience instead just uh, stuck in a screen and your worldview will be that narrow with information who someone sent it to you. Of course, you don't need to believe anything what I said to you, but uh, just try to use your logic, what's pretty difficult in our time. Uh, so about the food, again, uh, not only overeating and food addiction, what we have and what we eat and 
So same, we not born with that. We increase it slowly. So basically we can decrease it slowly as well. Um, just eat a little bit less and less and less. Yeah, you can get a certain result. Uh, what about, I don't know, all of the heart problems, diabetes and uh, I don't know, uh, high blood pressure it's a lot of different causes what we just uh, eat in the pills and you know all of the production not what i said before like you cannot make certain videos for uh, not make kind of bad content for certain food production even if it's shit uh, saying like it's all about the medicine look on any uh, institute of uh, i don't know for the new doctors, the students, who are the sponsors? Pharmacological company sponsors. So basically they create the education system what might be totally wrong and after six years you'll be pretty sure you uh, learn it right. So when I uh, study psychology, uh, everything come to the cause later or sooner for certain medicines. So basically it's about the selling the pills, get a high commission, that's it. But have many other ways, let's say hypnotherapy and so on. So now people, they practice it. Not that works good, but it's better than uh, using the pills. Let's say like gestalt therapy or NLP techniques and life coaching. It's not that strong, but still, if you just keep going, keep going, keep going, it will work on you. But usually people give up uh, too early. So I can bring the similarity with the placebo effect. For some people it works or not. I even try uh, empty pills, try to persuade myself it will be helpful for me. And I try, uh, what is it called? Really, really uh, mixed uh, medicine, um, homeopathic medicine. I try it as well, I take different minerals and whatever. And you know, it's about your belief system. So when you complete your university, you believe that only the tablets can make uh, the thing sort, but it don't have any logic. We eat in a bad food, we have a wrong lifestyle and have certain causes. We have a health problem later on, yeah? And instead to uh, fix the cause of the problem, we eat in wrong food, we eat in wrong amount of food, we eat in wrong time, we don't eat in morning, we eat in the night time, or midnight, whatever. Yeah, we eat the tablets. That's it. So, uh, it's same like your car don't have an oil and have a lamp, what said no oil, and you take a lamp. It's the same what you eat medicine. No problem, have no oil. I take a uh, lamp out, it not bothers me anymore. Let's say you walk barefoot and you step on a broken glass and you cut your feet and doctor said, okay, I'll give you a painkiller. You will feel no pain. You take a pill, oh, good. I feel no pain and walk further away and it's still a piece of glass cut your feet and make it worse and worse and worse and you lose more and more blood. So it's how it works. We not uh, fix the cause of the problem, what mostly, on my opinion, it's a food, even the water. Uh, about the clean water, I tell you experience, I take a uh, distillator, what vaporizes water, and I bought uh, water from shops and after one month, you know how much shit on a filter just from this like clear water yeah so it's not that clear how it seems like and all of the food i don't know where to find the natural food now it's i don't know all of the uh, farms now they put a lot of minerals and herbicide pesticides whatever and everything like full of preservatives because the standards the standards change years by years and put more and more and more so they cancel one preservative put another one like uh, dioxide of titanium would put like everywhere and toothpaste and shampoo was highly toxic they cancel and put another one same like uh, was a, with a teflon plastic what about the plastic uh, when i travel in china and india and i met a lot of rich people make some uh, photo shoots for the products for the online and so on and some uh, teaser videos so I never saw any of them eat from plastic food and it's reasonable all plastic food when you eat it you have a small piece of plastic come to your body molecular is too big your body cannot just sweat it out or get rid of it and it's collected 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 same like aspartan and some other preservatives and after same like uh, shells 
make a pearl. So basically some dirt come inside and it's grow the bone on the top of it. So basically your body uh, start to cover it, all of the stuff, what might be cause of the cancer. Let's see. Of course, I might be wrong. And uh, all of the, my research, not everything might be correct, but in certain cases, I would say it is. So plastic food, it supposed to be avoid any plastic food at all. And um, when I was in India, I heard it not even once, uh, when the, some wealthy people said, no, the plastic, it's only for the poor people. Yeah, and they have some like, uh, glass metal, uh, ceramic and so on. Yeah, it's maybe not that convenient, it's more heavy, it's easy to break, but it's more healthy. So why not? Then uh, food addiction. Some people, they like serious overweight. Watching telly or play phone or play games and eating, that's it. And you get more and more addict. And after you have no energy, some people said, oh, I eat more, supposed to have more energy, but all energy go on the digestion. So if you eat like potatoes and meat, it's really heavy food, I would say. So when I like eat more raw food, but if I uh, grow some beans, and eat it or cereals, it just a really long time, a little bit heavy food, I would say. But for the salads or lighter food, yeah, I eat it and I go run straight away. Sometimes I eat fruit salads and I go to work out after 15 minutes, I feel fine, I didn't feel any uh, discomfort in my stomach. Uh, it just for example. So if we said like all raw food is good, so good things should be a little bit more than bad. I wouldn't say like raw food is good because I lose a lot of weight and always been hungry, a little bit aggressive. Maybe it's good. Maybe I didn't stay on that diet uh, so far. Same like fasting. If you do it a little bit, it might be good for you. But if it's too much, it might be not good. So, on my opinion, if you keep balancing, let's say uh, you eat some uh, cereals, you boil it, your beans, your nuts or whatever, fried it so what not a good idea for fried anything because you eat like this shit fat instead of good fat and you eat like more salads or add salads or make sauces probably i'll make more videos when you can make a really cool raw sauces a different kind of uh, uh tomato raw tomato sauce or mayonnaise and so on vegan style it's really healthy it's raw and all vitamins everything there and you will not feel yourself hungry afterwards if it will be a lot of nuts and seed up there let's say let's say yeah and uh, i don't know uh like some of my friends said they wake up tired you imagine when you totally should be refreshed you wake up tired and go to bed tired have bad sleeping or always want to sleep more and so on so probably it show you direct signal what something going really wrong with your health and basically it's your own health so basically it's your responsibility for look for it any doctors they work money on it no one need healthy people because how you can make money on it yeah and here everything connected food production medicine all of the pollutions high level of stress and so on so uh any pain what we have the pain the good teacher is good always good another video i would make it about the pain if you hit yourself your body give you a signal don't do it again so if you have a pain in stomach or something so you need to think about the cause what wrong you done you have a pain the pain is a great teacher it's give you a signal you do something wrong stop doing it and you will be fine that's it instead we eat in tablets and we uh, kill the pain kill everything and make everything just worse and i said oh he died in the 50 or 60 why is that and my parents live like more than 100 years and so on and some people they live until 60s but they let's say lifestyle and activity not that good compare let's say so the monks in the temple who 70 80 years old they walk in they do all of this stuff and they active same like people in the 20s and one day they just decide, okay, time to leave, sit in meditation, and then gone. That's a cool lifestyle. So no pain, no discomfort, like you always healthy, always fit, fit for until like you know, until the end of the life. So probably it's how we're supposed to be. We're supposed to have like high level of energy, like kids, until the last day, whatever. So again, so the conclusion is all about the food. 
products or food products, what to eat. Of course, much better to cook at home. At least you try to find uh, the best ingredients you can as healthy as possible, but all of the organic shop, but still some organic shop only have labels of organic shop. Uh, my mate, uh, one of the uh, he work what they call on logistic and they have same products what come to different shops but different labels for the different price of course so not everything expensive might be good but some like uh, free range eggs and everything you can find really pricey if you stay somewhere uh, on the countryside and can afford like a little bit of glass house or garden it's just a great Otherwise, where to find the natural food, I don't know. Same like seeds, all of the seeds like uh, genetic modified and we don't know real influence on our body. It's not make uh, really good research, but I'm pretty sure everything not good for you because the main key, it's overpopulation. It's mean it cut the population. It's mean you and me and others, but they're all people around us. Uh, so if you smart enough for save yourself and your family, uh, so probably you need to think about what do you eat. So let's say some grain, uh, some cereals more or less okay, some wheat, oats, whatever. It's much better if you cook at home. So, you know, you will not put any additional preservatives, you will not uh, put bad oil like a palm oil there, you will not fry it, you will make it as much natural you can and so on. Maybe in your villages have like natural cows, you can drink your milk. Uh, main information like we don't need the milk and I Check the statistic, yeah. Asians don't drink much milk and they don't have a problem with the calcium. Compared in Europe, they drink a lot of milk and have a lot of problem with the bones and calcium. So probably calcium come more from uh, grasses. Let's say the sesame seeds have a lot of calcium, which is easy to digest, for instance. But Indians, they drink a lot of milk, but the milk more natural because a cow is like a holy animal and they take care of them well. So maybe it's different, less negative energy or whatever. I try to mention all of the aspects possible, what food needs to us. I cannot say don't eat meat or don't eat fish or whatever, because you might be in a medical condition or by your genetics or your blood type, you need it, yeah? But you can reduce, let's say, maybe you eat some fried food yeah or too much fast carbs or too much sugar so you can manage easily uh, your nutrition by yourself or at least start to eat less and less another video what i made like how to not feel hungry and so on so probably about the food i need to make more videos i play with the dietary a lot and i make some interviews with other guys who like uh, check the dietary and so on let's say about uh, athletes who go on the competition they eat for the purpose they eat exact amount of uh, carbohydrates uh, fats and protein, what they need to be in a good shape, that's it. But yeah, I know, we eat not because we're hungry. Half of the world is a star and die from uh, lack of food and some people, they die from overweight. And some people even shy, they overeating. But if you see all of this uh, papers from a biscuits and everything you can understand you eat like a big cup of sugar every day and some people they even shy they just hide it and relatives think oh they not eat much but why gain so much weight and so on and yeah half of the world have lack of food and another half have too much food and the quality of food is quite low another example we have uh, uh, overproduction like 10 years ago it was like 50% it mean we product two times more than we need and now it's 65 I guess and it's about food as well it's mean quality of food go down but we produce more for keep the prices like let's say in Russia if you have too much carrot, too much sugar, too much potato, whatever. They just put it on the field and big truck, put it underground or whatever, put it in the river, put it in the forest somewhere. And so when you have a smaller amount of food, price is going up. So that's why uh, on the market, it keeps the certain prices. Otherwise, food will be too cheap. No one will get a profit from it. So yeah, our economy and everything works quite strange. And when I visit like a lot of people like in Cambodia, Laos, they were another country, Latin America, people who have their own uh, farms, they don't care about uh, 
some credit crunch or collapse of the bank system they always have some food to eat they always have some food for sale or for exchange they like always independent yeah and it's working and if you like selling food like on the farm you need to work hard but if it's for yourself maybe not that uh, so basically I saw many families, some of them they said yeah we are working maybe 3-4 months a year, that's it, for take care of it. Some of them they said yeah we like selling, we make a business and have like a lot of people work on us so we work much harder. So basically what to do with that, uh, it's you will decide. I'll just give you a tip, i just give you some information what you can think about and make the right conclusion about the food. But it's not only my opinion and not uh, only one source of information I found before telling you that about all of the food and about all of the, most of the health uh, problem, not only overweight, yeah? Uh, if you genetic modify food or food with a lot of preservatives or too much sugar or whatever it can have a lot of different causes. One guy I know he had type B diabetes I guess and he was really sad when I was a kid oh I cannot have a normal life like all other people I sh can eat sweets and so on and later he started training have some problem what called hypoglycemia when your sugar level go dramatically down and it might be not enough for the brain you can die so always need carried some snacks just in case but when he started training uh, for like uh, fitness stuff would be a fitness model and so on so everyone just keep diet low and so on and you get another addiction you have beauty addiction you have addiction for your great feelings for results what you got and so on so he skipped the sugar skipped the fast carbs and like forgot about the diabetes at all no need the medicine no need the insulin anymore yeah think about that what about the hypertonia yeah? many people have hypertonia and eat tons of tablets and you eat, should eat it during all life but if you reduce your weight hypertonia might be gone for instance yeah and now we have like so much information you can find like any dietary for raw foodist vegan vegetarian healthy stuff how to cook meat healthy whatever i even know some people they eat raw meat what pretty bad idea because meat might contain so many different worms and uh, cells inside what after my growing your body what really bad idea but i don't know they know better so what i mean like so much information with a simple research if you do the research like five minutes a day in a month's time you might be became an expert and you might create the perfect diet for you for your family what's suitable for you because let's say in latin america and africa eat different ingredients different food different spices and i cannot tell like okay eat this one eat nuts or seeds or whatever yeah so you can make a research what is cheaper what is more natural what's better and uh, like most common product when take literature like hundreds of years ago, it's like so many grains, so many different cereals, like uh, food was like more and more variety here. But now most common is only nine, 10 products. It's wheat, soybeans, what make everything from the corn, what else, milk, meat, eggs. So it's about 10 most common ingredients, what like literally everywhere. Yeah, and if we take corn, soy, wheat, everything genetic modified, it's everywhere. Ah, beetroot, yeah, beetroot, sugar. So, what can I say? Uh, basically, I didn't try to persuade you in anything. I tried to be short as possible, but its topic is very vast. Uh, I can mention like hundreds things more, but otherwise video will be too big. I'm pretty sure if you will be not that lazy and type a little bit online you can find much more videos much more lectures much more information uh, what will you really comprehensive idea so be smart make your right conclusions use your logic and think about food and i'll make much more useful video for sure so stay tuned